I think it's about time that I made this video because it has gotten too confusing now. As you would have seen by the title and everything because you can read. I'm going to be going through all of the characters in the game by this. And basically picking out and showing which ones I count as supports and which ones I don't. And why and all that stuff. Now obviously I don't have all of the supports which is why I'm doing it in here and not just in the normal character screen. But I will go through most of the characters. This is going to be a quite talking heavy video. And not a lot of anything else. But let's get into it. I'm going to split the characters that I count into sort of three groups. Be quiet. And those are the obvious support characters. So, you know, Siegeween, Healer, Cookie, Healer, and Farina, Buffer, and Healer. And then sort of some less obvious ones. So, you know, I guess Nahida kind of. Not really. She is quite obvious. But people like, say, Sucrose or... Mona or slightly less obvious supports that aren't your really obvious healer or shielder. And the last category is going to be characters that have been chosen as supports from the comments. Just a bunch of people saying that this character should be a support. So they've sort of hopped into the list. And I think the only one I can really think of there is Shang Ling. There may have been some others, but I can't quite remember. So let's go through this list. So I'm, we're going to just work through all of the characters and go from there, I guess. So obviously we have Amber, Kaya, Lisa, not supports. They are sub DPS, DPS kind of characters. Barbara is our first support and that one is obvious. She heals and that is all she does. Then we have Razor, not a support. That is again, obvious he's a DPS. And then there is Shangling, which isn't directly a really big support. Initially I was considering her as a sub DPS but I got a bunch of comments and majority voted that she was indeed a support. So we've sort of run with that for the time being and used her as a support. Then obviously you have Beidou, DPS, then Xingqiu. He is also a support and he's sort of another one that could sort of be considered sub DPS, but he's sort of just in the line where this talent here, this passive talent just sort of puts him over into supports for me because it sort of has healing while these stuff aren't super particularly supportish, the sort of off-field hydro, but it's quite on the line. This just sort of pops him over there for me. Then we have Ningguang, DPS, and Fischl is a sub-DPS. I guess some people might consider her, su her support, but for me, there is no real supportive ability in here. All of it sort of increases her own damage rather than actually increasing other people's damage. Then we obviously have Bennett and Noel, which are both obviously supports. Bennett does big buffing with his burst and healing. And Noel is a shielder, obviously. Then we have Chong Yoon. He's sort of another one that is probably more, you could probably consider him more sub DPS-ish, but he doesn't really do much else except for infuse normal attacks and increase the normal attack speed. That's sort of all he does. So for me, he just sits into support. He was one of the ones right at the start that was a bit iffy, but ended up being countered. Then we have Sucrose, another sort of not quite obvious one, but all she really does. She basically just buffs Elemental Mastery and with sw and Swell stuff. So she does fit into that support role. Then we obviously have Jean, Healer. She's obviously there, don't have her though, which is a shame. And then Diluc, obviously not a support, DPS. And next support would be Chi Chi. And that is because she heals, and that's her entire kit, so that's another obvious one. Mona is another not-so-obvious one. I mean that just basically because her kit is not healing or shielding, which is your obvious supports. But she does sort of like damage, increase stuff, she does some buffing, so she is counted as a support. The next one is Venti. He is sort of similar to your Sucrose and Kazuha, just not as good because he can't do the Elemental Mastery buffing. But he's sort of that in-between one, I guess, with Venti. He's sort of somewhere in between. He could be considered support. He couldn't. He's sort of somewhere in between. I'm not 100% sure with him. I have counted him as a support. I have a list that I've written down with all my support characters. And I have counted him as a support. But he is one that it wouldn't take very much to change my mind that he's a sub-DPS and not a support. But for me, I am counting at him as a support for the time being. Klee, obviously not a support. We have Diona. She shields and buffs. So she is a support. 
Then we have Child, obviously not a support. And then we move on to the next sort of group of supports. We have Xinyan, Shielder, Zhongli, Shielder, and Albedo, which I was a little bit not 100% sure of, but I think I asked in a video. And I think majority of the comments did say that they would count him as a support. So he sort of sits into that. I'm not 100% sure, but comments said that he was a support. So we're going off that. Then Ganyu, Xiao, Hu Tao, not supports, all DPSs. Then we have Rosaria. She is our next support. And that is mainly just because of these ones. Because this stuff doesn't really do a whole lot of damage and isn't really that crazy. But these two passives do sort of flicker into supports for me. More this one. Because this one just increases Rosaria's crit rate, but this one increases crit rate for everyone. So we are counting Rosaria. Yanfei, Eula, both DPSs. I have seen some people say that Yanfei C4 could be a support. But I tend to only really count characters as a support if they're going to be, you know, somewhat supportive with C0. But if they're sort of built to be a DPS like Yanfei at C0, but only get their supportive stuff at C4, then I'm not really going to count it. If it's sort of closer, maybe like, say, I don't know what Venti's constellations are, but say if, like, if he had a C1 that made him heal or whatever, I don't know what his constellations are, but if he had something like that, then he would obviously be a support for me because he's sort of on the fence, but that C1 just sort of makes me 100% sure. But if they're obviously a DPS without constellations, they're not going to change. Next, we have Kazuha. He, again, sits at Sucrose. Sort of, you know, not the most obvious easiest to identify support but everyone uses him as support he is classified one of the best supports so he is obviously a support ayaka not a support moving on to sayu she is because of this which heals and she does healing from soil reactions and stuff like that she does a bunch of healing then yoimiya is not kujo sara is a support she sort of does some attack buffing and grit gives you energy recharge but she's another one of those not super, super obvious, very clear, but you're not building her as a DPS, so she is a support. Next sort of group of supports, we have Raiden, Kokomi, Toma, Goro. These two are obvious, Hilda, Sheila. Goro basically only does geo buffing. And then we have Raiden, she sort of does energy recharges, like a battery kind of thing, and then also has elemental burst damage increase. So another of the not super, super clear ones, but we are counting her. I'm basically, just to make things easy, I'm basically counting all of the Archons because they're all supports. Arataki Ito, obviously not a support. Then we have Yunjin and Shenha, both supports. Yunjin shields and buffs attack speed, I think. Shenha buffs cryo damage and normal attacks or something. Actually, no, she buffs, she buffs something. I can't remember. I haven't played Shenha in ages. She reduces cryo res and buffs normal attacks and all those attacks. Then we have Yaimigo, Ayato, and Yelan. They're all not supports. I know Yelan could probably be almost on the fence, and I did actually, I think, do a video pulling for her at some point, because I was going to say she was a support, but I got enough comments on there saying that she wasn't, mainly because unlike Xingqiu, she doesn't have that obvious sort of healer part in her. She does have this, which does increase damage, but it's sort of only just a little bit so for me i sort of count her more sub dps and when i did do that video a bunch of people said the same thing so we are going to count her as a sub dps so she is not a support the only difference between her and xing is that xing can heal and doesn't do as much damage basically next we have cookie she is obviously a support heals pretty simple we have hazo kole tainari all not supports. Kole could sort of almost get there. She sort of doesn't, she just sort of does off field dendro. However, she doesn't have a thing that increases anyone else's damage. So she doesn't fit in a support category for me. Then we have Dory. She heals, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she heals. So she is obviously a support. Candice, Sino, Nilu, all not supports. I did see some people saying you could count Nilu as a support in my last video. But for me, I don't really see her that way. I see her more of as a DPS. And that's just because her kit seems is more focused towards DPS for me. Then we have Nahida, Layla, Farazan, all supports. Nahida and Farazan buff their respective elements and types of damage. And Layla is obviously a shielder. Wanderer, not a support. Our Haytham, not a support. Yao Yao is a support. She heals, obviously. 
Dia is not a support. I mean, some people probably could say she is because of the damage reduction stuff she does in something. She does some sort of damage reduction. But for me, she's not a support. She's more sits in that sub DPS sort of role again. Plus, it's not like she's some crazy meta character that I'd try to convince you she's a support so I can use her. She's uh, not great. So she's not counted. Mika is a support. He does whatever he does. Healing and buffing i think for physical i don't know i don't use mika so i don't I, he does some supportive stuff Kave is not a support he sits in that sort of sub dps dps ish role baiju kirara are both supports both are shielders and baiju heals then moving up we have basically everyone up to here Linny, lynette fremine nouvellette risley all sort of dps or sub dps characters Charlotte is a support because she heals, I'm pretty sure, on her burst. Yeah, her burst heals, so we're counting her as a support. Farina is obviously a support. She does really crazy buffing and good healing. And then most of these last characters are not. Navia, Cheverus, Garming, all not supports. Shen Yun is a support because of her healing in her burst and the buffing of plunging attacks. Then we have Chiori, Alakino. Florand or DPSs. I don't know about Sethos. I kind of forgot he was in the game, to be honest. Yeah, no, he is not a support. So that leaves us with the final support that's currently in the game, and that is Sejuin, because she heals, and that's about her entire kit is healing with her weird burst that could, does damage, but not very much of it. But she is obviously a healer. So those are all the characters that I consider supports that are currently in the game. We do have... Emily coming out, which is the only other new character that we can sort we know the kit of. Some people do say that she could be a support. I have seen some people say that she could be a support. But for me, she sits more in sort of that sub DPS role, just purely because she buffs her own version damage and her own stuff rather than other characters. So for me, she sits in that sort of sub DPS kind of role or sub DPS DPS kind of role and not quite supportive but obviously i don't 100 percent know what she does but just from what i've seen so far i'm pretty sure i'm going to count her as a sub dps i may check out her talents when she comes out but for the time being i am considering her a sub dps so that is all the characters that we can currently know the skills and talents of that i consider supports i will leave a entire list of all of the characters in the description i'll just list them all there so you can see without having to watch back the video those are all the characters I do consider supports. Some of them might not be, but as I said, they sort of fit into one of three categories. Obvious supports, not so obvious supports, and characters that I've sort of been told are supports via the comments. So that's what I am going with for the time being. I don't imagine the first couple Natlan characters will be supports. Just purely going off of the characters that we got, we had these three in the first version. All not supports and then these two which are not supports as well and then if we go over to sumaru i'm pretty sure this is ordered in when they came out so i can look at it this way we had sort of these guys which there's only one support in there which is dory obviously the pirate archon is going to be a support i can almost guarantee you that much but for the time being i think the first couple probably won't be supports which means you have more time to save because we have 3200 primos at the moment with I'm pretty sure like zero pity or very little. Yeah, zero pity because we got C1 Farina. We are probably going to get a Zhongli or Albedo or Raiden or someone's rerun next update, which is going to use a bunch of pools, but we shall see. So with that being said, I think that's where we're going to leave it off. This video was a lot of talking and they're not the most fun videos to watch or to edit, but it kind of needs to be done. So those are the characters that I consider supports for the time being until we get new characters. So with that being said, Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.